This is a unusual loading screen. Oh, that's because it's uh, spectator mode, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I like it actually. Looks like how to. Uh, that's actually not a lot of money on this map if you don't go for the gems. It's not a very big map either. There's a lot of ore, but it'll go fast. So that's not that much. She spent four ducks and they got yeah. pretty much all killed. And four ducks with zero scout success. That's 800 down the train. Hey, Kyrie, is there any way in spectator mode to toggle the, the fog of war depending on who you're, which no. side you're no, trying you to observe? You can't. It's not what. Damn. It's not, sometimes. It's not that bad. Okay, compare that to RA2 and. The loading screen is not like that either, and you can't even see how much money they have, how much they, how many they have killed, how many units they have alive, or what faction they are, like you see here. You're oh, jeez. So, Matthew oh, yeah. for forgot his engineers, so his engineers just on the top left all and doesn't capture it. Yeah, he's gonna lose time and money for that one. Mm. He can build a second refinery, where it's ideal. Uh, finally, he does. And so that was, uh, that's a couple extra hundred credits down the train. I'm gonna guess that there is no, but Nizzy will make Apox here again. And that's gonna be, again, once again, detrimental to his team. <laughs> See, the way Nizzy should have built there is he built his war factory, he should have built it down, and then the refinery. Yeah. Because I would have, like, look how far his miner has to travel. Yeah, that doesn't make the chance really effective at all. Although at least he has a refinery up, like, MJ hasn't a second refinery up and is completely broke. Oh, that was a nice play. Is that like an insect GT? It might be, because they don't have any tanks. They went straight for a rush. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, they barely defended it, but it's looking really bad because it's got two tanks. Oh, he's not watching his tank. Pack your MCV, move your MCV, dude. Oh, no. You should, yeah. should be repairing it. You should be repairing it. You should be repairing it. It will die. Tanks will uh, okay. be close. Okay. Oh, he's going to finish the MCV. If, if he's losing his MCV, that's yeah, too much. He can't recover. Okay. He should have ran away. It was a little too late for that. <laughs> oh, he has one tank on its own. Yeah, that's a bad Ah, uh, oh god. Like, Mike has the second refinery up at the oil field. Like, I think it's already over for MJ and Mike because the ego is dead. Well, no, the second refinery up there is fine because he's only taking... He's only looking at the fact that the, uh... Oh, he, they're gonna lose this trade. They go in when there's a sentry gun. You see how good a sentry gun is? Yes, I think. Yeah, because it has target priority and soaks up quite a few cannon shots. Yeah, so there it is. He's a mic. Has one, two, three, three miners, four miners, and now he's got his battle lab. We can build another refinery down to the next row also, so, uh, have, so he gets more uh, echo going. Look at that, look, look, look. so the thing is, Sism Mike and, uh, and MJ aren't even getting their gems yet. Yeah, also question, why did Mike build his second refinery up next to MJ's base? Because he, he thought he might need to migrate his base probably. Yeah, so that's the whole point, yeah. He said, just in case he might lose his miners, so at least he'll still have something, his miners alive, yeah? He does end up screwing MJ a little bit, but MJ all needs to do is build a refinery down there. 
Uh, they're still in tech in, in tier one, and there's battle fortresses now. They're out tanked completely, and and look at look how far his miner has to dig now, even further than before. That gem patch should have been finished a few minutes ago. I guess Matthewson, at least Matt's got um, a battle lab. It might be too late though. They're completely yeah. out tanked. They're completely out tanked. Matthewson has no cash right now. Yeah, he definitely built a lot of economy, but it isn't hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah, but but again, Nizzy is is he should have built his war factory down. That that was a huge, that was a big deal. Yeah, I agree. That was a big deal. The, just the fact that his miner took that long and it's still not finished the gems. Only now he just ninety eight percent finished the gems. There's three battle force. This is wow. Not even a single super weapon. I mean. Oh, well, Nizzy, Nizzy got his uh, his wish then. <laughs> Nobody's playing with Super, <laughs> even though they're turned on. <laughs> yeah. When the actual start being built, yeah, there it is. See, if he starts making Apox, he's gonna intent, he's gonna screw himself, his, te his team over. He needs to stick to Rhinos for now. Oh yeah, here it is. So that the, the, the iron. <laughs> Here come this like they got the super weapons first. Even though when they were behind in tech. MJ has a lot of money. He should have been he should have stretched down his other war, war factory down and then built his uh he's still building rhinos. See, the, the, now's the time to pressure. If they pressure oh, right now, was... MJ's moving his base forward. They need to pressure right now prevent them from play, using the iron curtain out in the front of their base. The battleforgers need to go in. So what we can't just slow our bridge. Yeah, okay, so this is good, this is good. This, this is gonna lose uh, tank. This tank's got stuck, this is so bad. That's what I mean, they need to, that's why they need to go in right now, because the, the double iron curtain is, it's gonna be a huge problem. So in this case, Nizzy and Matthewson need to go back. Oh, there it is. There it is. There goes the Chrono. Oh, yeah, he's on the boy. He's on the boy. There it is. Yeah, obviously, you can also take the. Is that. Uh, this is looking bad. Oh, he should not have. It's I'm gonna tell Matthewson, don't deploy like when there's no anti-air really. It's your best. Oh, he got the... Oh, he didn't get it! Damn. Elite Rhino. And uh, MJ's MCV is just sitting there while he's breathing. <laughs> oh, 5,000 bucks though. It's like, um, it looks like my guest gonna have to sell some stuff because he is slow on power. If you see the elite rhino tank, oh, there's an. <laughs> oh, he lost the elite. Yeah, MJ lost the elite. Oh. They still have the iron curtain. And no super weapon. <laughs> on yeah. MJ's side, he's taking. Yeah, he lost. Mike needs to sell the gap generator to get his power back. Because the gap no, generator never. doesn't. Thor, he'll never get his pat. Well, mm, he has three power plants. Maybe, yeah. Like, with what little he has, like the spice that doesn't take that much power. And if the gap generator is down, he should have enough power to power all of that. Yeah, this map is so tiny. I don't know how much good the gap generator is actually doing him. The thing is, this Mike doesn't have a. Oh no, he shouldn't be destroying that map. So he doesn't have a uh, orc finery anymore. So it's a work. So he only has to... Uh, yeah, he has wait. at least the oil. Yeah. MJ has to build the iron curtain. He has to build it. Why did he sell us for finally then on top right with MJ's space? Because he probably didn't realize it. So he's gonna teleport, but this is all the damage he can do. He should be using that offensively. Uh, 
there, yeah. yeah. And now shoot a chronosphere. Go, go, go. Shoot a chronosphere. Oh, I shoot a power plant. That also works. And that's game over. Oh, double iron. Yeah. Oh, he needs to get out of there because that it's too late. He undeployed, it takes too much time. There. I guess that was kind of worth it just for two siege choppers. But those battle forges better need to start applying pressure now. They're out tanked heavily. She's pretty much dead, like Nizzy has nothing left. But his mic has to go in because like uh you can't leave MJ hanging like that. They have nothing left. Except Matthewson has 10k. <laughs> yeah, Matthewson has all the money but doesn't spend it for some reason. Oh, it's too late. The battle yeah, yeah, Matthewson has too many tanks with their loot alongside. The problem is like it took... it took... Tism also... Yeah, also Mike should just... Suicide Kamikaze Rush with all GIs now and just apply pressure. Yeah, but he did have gone in with the battle fortresses. Yeah. Yeah, see, they're anchored in here. And then the battle fortresses are dead. Oh, he didn't anchor the elite. Oh, that was good micro. Oh, that was nice. excellent. He went back at the right time. That's second now. Oh no, it's the same way, okay. Uh, yeah. Missy and Matthewson bring it most likely home because, yeah, both bases are dead. And she and Mike don't have anything anymore. Yeah, he didn't build a super weapon. That really messed him up. Yeah. Oh, also the fact that they completely screwed up the early economy. So what happens now? Do we still... Do we, do we have to go against somebody? The thing is... That? No, the thing is uh, we have five teams and each team plays against the four other teams. And the team with the most points um, wins that mini tournament. So we still need to play against Splurkus and Chief, I think was it, and Bobman and Methyl. Okay. There it is, double anchored and again. Oh, there, there, there goes the GIs, so <laughs> it's a little late. Yeah, it's not too late to GI storms, they needed that with the previous attack. Yeah, so they should have pushed in right there. It's like one battle fortress and a handful of GIs are not gonna win you the game against that many rhinos. Especially against two elite rhinos. You see up there the, the GI drop? He forgot about it. And now they're gonna die to the He could have killed that that iron curtain right there. Or or the GIs are we're walking towards he can kill that iron curtain. Yeah. This is a killing of Yep. <laughs> That's why Devastators are so damn good. Completely invalidates any form of infantry spam. Yep. It's overpowered. Ah, uh, it says Mike again. Forgot his... His, uh... He doesn't even need Iron Curtain for that. He just goes straight in. Oh, he lost the elite tank. He's going in a line. He's going in a line. Mana. Got it anyway. Oh, don't try through the radiation feels like that, even if it doesn't matter at that point. So now Mike has no more vision because he lost the spy set.
Let's meet the like. Nisi is like in the uh, upper tier player, but honestly, I found overall Matthew to play better than Nisi those games. In every game, in every game, I th Matthew has been playing superb. So yeah, the, like, like look at the war, multi war. Like just look at the enemies killed. Matthewson has nearly twice the amount of units killed compared to Nisi. And not to mention, uh, Matthewson microed his uh, elite tank. That was beautiful. Yeah.